Hi there, and welcome to Dotloop. Dotloop is the only end-to-end -end real estate transaction management platform. Over 1.4 million real estate professionals use Dotloop to save dozens of hours each week and delight their clients. In this video, we'll show you how to access, prepare, and share the document that was shared with you. Then, we'll walk you through your client's experience and finish with an overview of sharing documents back with the other side of the deal. If you don't already have the document pulled up, open the email you received and click View Document. This is your document editor. As you can see, we already have some interactive fields with information, as well as a signature from the buyer. The blue bar at the top of your screen contains all editing options, from adding signatures, initials, and text, to downloading and printing. In this specific document, the buying agent already filled out all the necessary information. So at this point, we could either edit the document or add a signature field for the seller to sign. If you choose to edit the information, Dotloop knows that the document is being modified and will remove existing signatures. Today, we'll just add a signature. To do so, click Add Signature, then click anywhere in the document where you'd like to place the signature. You can easily resize fields by clicking and dragging the arrow on the lower right corner of the box. Now, let's assign this field to our seller. Click Assign Field, then from the drop down menu, click Add Person. And here, we'll add our client's full name, email, and assign them the role of seller. The document is now ready to be shared with our client. To share this document, click the Save and Share button located at the top right hand corner of the screen. This sharing window gives you an overview of the people that you can share the document with, how many fields are assigned to each one of them, and what sharing permissions they have. Today, we'll share the document with our client, Sally. Sally has one field assigned to her and the permission to can sign. We'll also include a personal message for Sally telling her what to do. Once we share the document, Sally will receive an email notification similar to the one you received, and then Dolly will show her exactly where to sign, and upon completion, the document will automatically be shared back with you. Now, let's take a look at what Sally's experience is like. Here's the email that Sally received. Once she clicks View Document, she'll be taken to Dot Loop, where she can review the document. When she's ready to sign, Sally will click on Start Signing, and Dot Loop will show her exactly where to click. Sally will also have the ability to customize her signature and initials by choosing from the preset types or by drawing them. When she's done, all she has to do is click Adopt and Sign. To complete the process and automatically share the document back with you, Sally will click Finish Signing. After signing, Sally has the option to register for a Dolub account so she can access all her documents. However, this is an optional step. Your clients do not have to register in order to sign documents in Dotloop. For the purpose of this video, we'll have Sally register with the role of buyer slash seller and show you what the transaction looks like on her end. While Sally's view is very similar to yours, there are a few differences. The most important one is that if you take a look at the people section, you'll see that the only person Sally can see and interact with is you. This means that the other agent does not have the ability to see Sally's information, nor can they interact with her. You remain Sally's point of contact throughout the entire transaction. Now that Sally has signed the document, Let's go back to our agent view. Here, we see that we have an email notification saying that Sally has signed the document. From this email, we can either review the document or share it back with the other agent. Let's review it before sending it back. The document looks great. In this view, you can see that the document has been signed by both parties, but the only people who have this version of the document are you and your client. Let's share the document back with the buying agent. Click Share on the top left corner, then select the buying agent and give them Can Edit in Private permission. This will allow them to edit the document if necessary. But remember, if the document is edited in any way, all signatures will be erased. And that's it. Thanks for watching and happy looping.